This is a uh, 95 Fleetwood with an Onan uh, generator. Um, the starter on this one quit. I was just uh, going to show you a few things on it. The starter solenoid back behind this panel is right there. Go ahead and check to make sure that there's power getting to this side. Uh, and it has battery voltage on it all the time. Um, if you go ahead and activate it using the button, you can check the power on the opposite side. Um, if you check it up here uh, and it just say it has one or two volts, um, go ahead and disconnect it from the actual starter side because uh, if it has one or two volts, it might be grounding out through the starter, which means your starter would be bad. If you go ahead and disconnect that wire off the starter, then you should have the same voltage coming out of the solenoid as going into it. But uh, if you disconnect it and the voltage is still low, then the starter solenoid is bad. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you underneath here. Um, on this model, there's a hole right here. Um, as you can see right there is a starter. Um, right here you can see the starter wire, uh, the power for it. Uh, this is the one that I was telling you to disconnect to check the power going out of the uh, solenoid. You can check it right here also to see if it has 12 volts when it's activated. Um, it's pretty simple to take the starter off. You can, go, you can see that I already took a bolt off right there. Uh, on this one it's a 14 millimeter and then it has a nut uh, set into it on the back side and then there's one on the top. You can you can reach uh, in through the top of the generator to put the starter on. Um, you don't have to drop the generator out or anything. The starter motor will pull out from above the generator and uh, it's a pretty simple slot.